Hey guys, before we get started with this episode, I wanted to let you know that you could always check out beerbrackets.com to see all past beer ratings. If you're curious how all other beers did not in all our past reviews, you can check out our Perfect Beer Roundtable, which beers have qualified for that. Also, you can check out our merch store. The merch store is a great place to see anything that we have up there for sale and available for you guys. It's a great way to help support us too and support the channel. Another great way to support us guys is using the donate button and uh, we also have have some subscribers tiers that is right alessandro take a look at the three tiers on the website to see what's available there great things like discounts on the store access to the beer brackets pub live stream a free item every couple of months and so much more enjoy the episode guys and thank you for the support Well, welcome back to Beer Brackets, everybody. We just finished filming our review of Budweiser. Alessandra and I are so excited to do this because we both have memories of the bottled version of Budweiser not being too great. And the canned version kind of surprised us a little bit, right, man? Like, it did. It we did. Were, really, genuinely. <laughs> it really did. It got a two on three mouthfeel. The finish wasn't as bad as we remembered it being. And so we're wondering is it the bottle version? that brought all these horrible memories, all these horrible beer memories that we have right now. Or are we just remembering it as being worse than it actually is? Let's find out, man. So hey guys, if you haven't watched our Can vs. Bottle episodes before, if you haven't seen our Budweiser review yet, go, we'll put a link to that down below. Go check that out before. Get yourself all primed up and ready before watching the Can vs. Bottle. We've already done Heineken, we've already done Corona, we've already done Modelo. We've tackled a lot of big beer brands and we've answer these age old questions that people have been asking Alessandro for centuries, I think. I, I don't have any proof of this, but I have to imagine it's been for centuries that people have been wondering, which one is better? If I go to the store and they have both Budweiser in a bottle, Budweiser in a can, which one should I buy? And so you know what, here at Beer Brackets, we're all about answering these questions and we're gonna let you know. So we're gonna pour out each one. We're gonna go over all our different review elements. So we're gonna tackle the aroma. We're gonna tackle the taste, the mouthfeel, the finish, and overall impression. And we're gonna give you our final thoughts on which one we think is better. Let's do it. Let's pour these both out and let's get into the aromas. Let's do it. The Ooh. king of beers. There he goes. Guys, if you haven't watched any of our episodes before and you're not too familiar, normally what we do, pour out about a third of the way up the glass to leave some room to stick. Uh, if you have a big nose like me, a big Mediterranean nose, leave some room to stick it in there to get the aromas. So you can accurately be your own beer barometer and get a sense for what this beer is all about. <laughs> okay. Look at that. I am ready, my friend. You know, I'm not gonna lie. They gave me some weird looks at uh, the store before being like, I need both bottle and can. With Budweiser, like, you must really love Budweiser, man. But you know, that's, they were looking weird because they don't know how professional we are. We want to find, like you said, they don't the know. answers to this. They don't know questions <laughs> that have been around for so long. And honestly, so long. who would blame people? Like, which one should I pick? My friend, let's smell them. Uh, let's do it. Whoa. Okay, already, Ooh. already. Okay, the aroma on the bottle is so much more pungent. Yeah. So yeah. much stronger, man. My friend, I, I, I'll let you go first. Tell me, I'm, I'm so curious to hear what you think about this. So you know what? Like I, I, I was not expecting this, but I think that on this specific, like it's the most dramatic difference I've experienced uh, in Whoa. all our can versus bottle so far. And that says a lot because with Heineken, there was a big difference. The aroma here on the, on the bottle version, like, the fruit character is it's it's way more harsh and pungent. Like it is, right? Banana character is yeah. way more pungent to me, at least, not in a pleasant way. Like I like the not a pleasant way. Not in a pleasant way for <laughs> me. No, I like the can, <laughs> uh, which if you know if you've watched the review, I like the can better. Like here for sure. Like I'm gonna grab it with the can here on this one. Man, you know what? Normally, uh, what we've seen in these can versus bottles is that the bottles normally introduce a lot more character to the beer than the cans do, right? And because they introduce all these external elements, 
whether it be that you know the cap on the the bottle might not necessarily preserve it for as long as a sealed can does or whether it be the light getting through the whatever the color of the glass may be you know the darker bottles obviously protect from the uv rays getting through a lot more than light clear bottles do or green bottles do so we generally see a lot stronger characteristics on the bottled version and on this one it definitely lives up to that you know what the characteristics on the bottled version it actually makes me think of like the aroma is more like, you know, when you leave, when you have like a lot of fruit in your fridge or a lot of like leftover fruit and you throw it in a garbage can and it sits in the garbage can for a couple of days before you take out the garbage. So it's actually... <laughs> That's a very, very I feel bad. I really like that. I feel <laughs> so bad. Like you guys know, if you've been watching the channel, you know that we generally like to say positive about beer. So it kills me. It kills me to have to say these kinds of things. But it actually smells a little bit like decomposing fruit that's yeah. been sitting in a garbage for a little too long. Um, so I got to go with the can on this one too, man. But you know, let's, so it's one point for the can for each of us so far. Let's jump right into the taste and see what we think about this. Let's do Cheers, it. buddy. Bottle, can, taste, let's see. Yeah, okay, yeah. Oh, interesting, interesting. Okay, let me know, what do you think? On the can one, I do get a more uh, clean, acidity coming much cleaner. through almost like more fresh feeling while on the bottle the taste shifts more towards the sweetness like that that maltiness mm -hmm. it's way more present but for me at least it's not in a pleasant way like again like i tend to not like beers that are overly <laughs> malty this is the second time where you start describing something and I think you're gonna go in a positive direction and then you just say not in a positive way. Yeah, I, I know, I, I, I'm sorry, but I, I'm just trying to be honest. <laughs> no, it's, I love it, uh, I love it. Please, man, we're all about honesty. Go, tell me yeah, what you're Yeah, exactly, and we, you know, it's, it's, it's just preference. Like I'm, you know, everybody has their own opinion and that's great. That's why these, uh, you know, it's great opportunities to talk. For me, the, the can is shining over the bottle for that acidity and crispiness that clean crisp feeling that you get when you take a sip uh, on the bottle it's the balance has shifted more towards the the malt but it's more like the sweetness of the malt which for me like, yeah. I, I tend to not prefer overly sweet beers and here it's like it, it's it's really shifting towards that so uh, i'm gonna stick with the can still mm. how about you mm -hmm. how about you mm. They're actually, when you take a sip one after another like that, they're actually very different. And I think you, you describe them perfectly and the bottle is much more malt forward, which you know what, I'm actually enjoying. The, the can is very clean, it's very crisp. And so the taste is very non-offensive. There's nothing that really jumps out at you. The bottle, the maltiness is a lot more present, which in the case of this beer, because it's very muted, I'm gonna use that word, it's very, it's very soft in all of the different measurable elements. I'm um, having a little bit of extra maltiness come through on the taste, at least. It's actually a little bit enjoyable for me. I'm gonna go with the bottle, man, on taste. I am go. definitely, I'm, I'm going with it, man. Bottle wins out for me. So, you know, we're having a little bit of a battle going so far. But you know, before we do the mouthfeel, we gotta freshen up a little bit. So let's do it. a little uh, little pour out here. I'm gonna try not to spill anything over. Okay. We like battles here at Beer Brackets. <laughs> what do you think, man? Which one is, uh, which one is a better mouthfeel for you? Let's, let's do a little bit of beer meditation here. Oh, are we doing some meditation? Okay, let's bring it up. Hmm. 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 So again, like I, I think that the more I think about this hand versus bottle, and the more I think that it's where I'm finding the, the biggest difference, which is honestly not what I was expecting going into it. To me, the can has more of that refreshing element that I described in the review. Uh, it almost feels like crisp, uh, a little bit of uh, bitterness in the end, like, and then and, and just like the, the carbonation, very lively. On the bottle, I do get a little bit more of that oily, sticky uh, presence coming from the malt. Again, and this is just personal preference, uh, I'm gonna still stick with the can for the fact that I tend to prefer beers that have a little more crisp mouthfeel. Uh, again, very surprising, like uh, quite different. different. Let me see. How about you, my friend? What do you think? Oh, I, I will let you know, don't you worry. The can version is definitely crisper. 
I think if you're looking for something that's a little bit more easy drinking, something that's gonna be a little bit more less offensive on the palate, I would definitely recommend the can. If you're looking for a little bit more flavor, if you're looking for a little bit more body out of a mouthfeel, something that you're gonna feel a little bit more, uh, something that's gonna be slightly, not necessarily more carbonated, but more full-bodied. I'm gonna stick with full-bodied on that one. Something that's a little fuller, a little heavier. It feels a little heavier in your mouth as you're drinking it. Again, you know what? I think it's it's two different styles, right? So easy drinking, do you want something that's gonna go down really smooth and non-offensive? Do you want something that's gonna be a little bit more full-bodied? For me personally, maybe it might be just in this moment. Um, I'm actually preferring the bottle again. <laughs> it's kind of crazy. The surprise. We have a battle. Dude, we have a battle going on here, man. Normally we've been pretty much in agreement all the way through on these can versus bottles, but this one is, uh, we're going in different directions here. This is interesting. It, it is, it is. But that's, see, that's again, like shows how fun it is to do these comparisons, like because it shows like how subtle differences can really change your perception of a beer, right? Like maybe you always had it in the bottle and then you have an opinion and then you try it in a can and it shifts your opinion completely. So like, it's it's fun to compare them. Like I really, I'm really having fun here. <laughs> I'm having a great time, man. Finish. What do you think about the finish? This is the one that I was expecting to be really not enjoyable in the bottle. So I am curious. I'm dying to know. What do you think? So let's see. Mm. You're building the suspense, man. You've been, mm, you've been quiet know, for a long I'm, time here. I'm just, just trying face. to be very fair because it's the king of beers. So we need to <laughs> we need to take a step back and relax and and and, and you know enjoy the moment. <laughs> but be present. But, be present in this moment. Yes. Yes. With the king of beers. The finish is actually quite quite interesting because like uh, the while on the on the can I, I do get a little bit more of that hop presence and I think this is kind of like a theme in, in, in this can versus bottle for me at least on the bottle I get more of that malt presence while for what I remember that used to be or the, in my memory a little bit more harsh like here uh, I'm, I'm actually surprised because that adds an extra layer for me which is lacking a little bit in the can like that that malt present was not as prominent um, yeah so on the finish i'm actually going to go with the bottle uh because oh. i like the way that it like it, it the malt is showing you're coming off. to the dark side so yeah bottle welcome to the dark side my friend <laughs> yes <laughs> it's a beautiful it's a beautiful place it's a beautiful place with lots of bottles of budweiser <laughs> You well, know, I'm happy I, I got as long as there are. <laughs> <laughs> we were kind of talking about this before we started filming. How I think with Budweiser, because it's such a common beer, I think if you, you know, if, if you were the type to sort of frequent a lot of dive bars in your time, I think there's the potential for drinking a lot of bottles of Budweiser that might have been close to expiration or might have been old or might have not been stored properly that might have given you a kind of bad impression of what a bottle of Budweiser actually tastes like. And so I was expecting something, and I think from where I got this, I think it's relatively fresh. And I think that maybe makes a big difference. Oh man, this is hard to say. You know what? On the can, there's not much of a finish there. It's pretty clean. On the bottle, you get a lot more. The finish on the bottle is so much stronger. It lingers for so much longer. You taste the maltiness so much more. I'm going with the bottle, man. <laughs> I'm enjoying the finish. It has more overall flavor to it. So this was unexpected and this is coming down to the overall impression, man. And this is gonna kind of determine which one we each like better. What are you thinking? It's It's been a, a, a rough, rough rough like canvas oh, dude, bottle for it's me. been like a, a roller coaster ride of emotions a lot of opposites here it, it was it was intense i i have to admit it was intense but after some some beer meditation and after some thinking uh, i have to say that for me the can is the winner because yes the finish Ooh. the finish is uh, taking it a little bit on the dark side, dark side. but <laughs> on the dark side but I have to say that the uh, aroma, taste, and mouthfeel for me uh, are making the difference between the two. So if I had to pick, I would personally go uh, with the can for Budweiser. You know what, for me, this is, it's, it's, it's a specific situation. If I'm gonna be sitting down in the evening and drinking two or three or more of a beer, I would go with the can because it's, it's less offensive, it's more crisp, it's more clean, everything we just described. If a one-off, if I'm gonna be drinking one beer, 
I would go with a bottle. So I'm torn, man. I don't know what to do. If you look at all my my determinations, everything that I, I decided based on our different review elements, it leans more towards the bottle. So because I'm torn, I'm gonna have to go with that. And this is a historic beer brackets moment because this is the first time we both disagree on which one is better between the can and the bottle. <sighs> Take it for what it is. Take it for what it is. We are as shocked as all of you are. <laughs> and frankly, Alessandro chooses the can in this moment, I am choosing the bottle. And we have a difference of opinion for the first time in the history of this channel in our can versus bottle episodes. But you know what? That's what this is all about. And that's what the beer bracket concept yes. is about. We like to open these beers, talk about them, break them down and see what we think. And guys, like anything else, this is all subjective, right? It's completely subjective. So if you agree with Alessandro's breakdown a little bit more, that relates to you a little bit more, then by all means, if you're deciding between the two, go with the can. If you relate with me a little bit more on what I described, go with the bottle. Although we did not come to a conclusive answer on this one, we do have a very detailed and decisive breakdown of each of our opinions. Thank you guys so much for joining us. This one didn't have a conclusive answer, but go down and check out a playlist. I'll post a link down below to all our other Can vs. Bottle episodes. Check those out if you're curious, if you enjoyed this one. Thank you so much for joining us, guys. Cheers. Cheers, my friend. Let us, it was so much fun. fun. So much fun. Let us know down below what you think. Do you prefer the can? Do you prefer the bottle? What do you think of Budweiser? What do you think? We are dying to know. Let us know down below. Mm. Cheers. And no matter which one you choose, don't forget to close your beer brackets. Open and close your Budweiser beer brackets. Open with a can. Close with a bottle. It's up to you. <laughs>